Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm a blank canvas right now. We're loving this, aren't we? No, not really. I just sort of blend. It makes no sense. But we're going to now play with the Jellyfish palette, the Hourglass. Lighting, Edit, Unlocked in Jellyfish. Now this is the actual um, palette that belongs in this. This, I feel, is going to definitely be more my tone, my skin tone friendly, um, unlike the last one. Did I make the, um, I have the owl slash snake palette. Did I make it work? Yes, yes, I did. But it's definitely much richer and darker of colors. However, with a light hand, you can make it work. Love it. Definitely love the packaging. I mean... I do like the jellyfish, don't get me wrong, I do like it. And in a way, it kind of reminds me of like where I, I used to live in Maryland, beside Chesapeake Bay, and it was loaded with jellyfishes. So, yeah, it, good times, good times. But you know, I don't believe I've ever been stung by one. Could be wrong, because as a child I could have, but I do not believe I've ever been stung by one, thank goodness. Because I'm a crybaby. Just so you know. Alright, so the first thing we're going to go into in this is the bronzer. Which is called Bronzer Lunar Bronze. And to be fair, it looks really light. This one here. Now these are... Let's see. I think, if I recall, these are all... This one's new. The bronzer, this blush, and this highlighter because this blush here is diffused heat if i'm correct yes diffused heat and i actually have that in a single and of course the finishing power in diffused light and ethereal light you know the ethereal light might be new i'm not really for sure i think it was three old three new in this one and then the other one only had one new and then that one had five new and one old, if I'm correct. But anywho, regardless, I was good. But I still think they should come out and just let us pick our own with our own, you know, everything. So anyway, but I kind of get if people are going to show them, it would be hard to do. So we're going to go into the bronzer, though. And let's give it a whirl. And I do love Hourglass products in the purple in the fact that you can't go wrong like you just can't you can pick up so much and you have nothing to worry about like it's going to blend itself well it's way darker than i thought actually well not way darker but it's definitely darker than i thought it was going to be but look how easy that blends i mean it just like blends straight into the skin get up in that hairline up in the hairline, up in the hairline. Okay, so it's pretty. Again, I think it's on more of a red tone. I mean, it's not bad, though. It kind of looks like, actually, it probably almost mimics what I would look like if I did tan. Like, if I, if I got a tan on my forehead, like, I think that's the tone I probably would tan, in all honesty. Well, depending on, also, you know, is it the first time or have I been in the sun all year, you know, type of thing. Because I always burn the very first time. If I'm in the sun, I'm, I try not to be. But if I am, I always burn. And then I'm good to go after that. But that's a pretty color. And there's light into my face again. We have dimension. Alright, let's try the cheeks. And again, I mean, it, it just, you, you really cannot overdo it. It's so pretty. I do love them the hourglass products I ain't about to say that like they're worth it 
by no means, I'm not, but they are pretty. And again, I'm not a makeup artist, so placement could be wrong for me. Just go with it. It's really not about how I place it. It's more about, like, what it looks like anyway. The tone of it. And does it work on my skin tone? And how it performs. But it is pretty. Okay. Put it a bit on the nose. I mean, I don't know. Again, the price point for this is $90. And for me, it is worth it because I do enjoy them. But at the same time, you can get if you're not going to use all these and chances are you probably won't because I don't then by all means buy them in the singles even they carry them in the you can actually get the little ones even I believe you may not be able to get all the shades in the little ones but you could definitely get little ones I don't have one here of course not I wouldn't have one any other time but just know that you know I have hit pan and one for the bronzer and maybe a blush but that's it I don't hit pan in these often and the one I did hit pan in I'm gonna tell you now I had that three maybe four years even now at this point so we're talking years here No, I don't use them every day, but if this was the only thing I had and was using it every day, I'd be happy with it. I would. I don't know how long it would actually last because I feel like, let's just say with this palette in general, I'm just putting a little bit of bronzer down my neck, um, I would go through the bronzer the most and there's only one so once it's gone it's like then what are you going to use for a bronzer you know so I don't know that's why I wish they would let you pick because for me personally I know I would pick two blushes and two bronzers maybe even one blush to be honest and two bronzers one highlighter but then to fill it up I wouldn't want three bronzers so yeah I would do two bronzers two blushes one highlighter and one finishing powder because I do like the finishing powder I used the one under my eyes today to set my this concealer here the skin loving present Pris Prisma Libra Libre Libra. I don't know this one I use this one and I set it with the diffused light I usually use dim light I'm pretty sure no yeah no no I usually use diffused or is it dim it's one of the two I don't know but I do set with it like well kind of set with it I set with my Pat McGrath and then I go over it with that but as far as like finishing powders I really don't get the gist of it I watch people use them but I just don't okay I don't understand so since I already have diffused heat and I know what it looks like and it is beautiful let's use the blush rose fusion because it's new this one right here and I think with the look I'm going for today this would probably be best for the eye look anyway so I used my refer 4 for bronzer 
and I'm using my Refer 5 for blush. And again, you can mix Max Cheese. You could use this brush for bronzer even. I've done it. And use the other one for brush blush. It's just whatever you prefer using, what kind of tool. They're both really nice brushes. And they apply everything beautifully. So that's a pretty color. I would say it's a rose ish color. But it's still very pretty. It's almost more a neutral, which kind of is funny. I mean, it's not neutral, but you you get what I mean, I hope. I'm blabbering y'all. It's been one of them days. I've sat down to film all day. And then I can't because something else will happen. But then you're bound to have something happen with all these kids in this house, right? Of course. But that is pretty color. And again, you can build it up. You can start with a heavy hand, however you want to do it. At the end, it'll look beautiful. That much is guaranteed. But I'm dying to try the highlighter in this palette. Like, I think this highlighter is going to be beautiful. Alright. I think I got both sides, or both sides kind of the same. Again, not a makeup artist. But I think I got it all blended in well. Alrighty, now for the highlighter. I'll use the Refer 18. And the highlight is called... Opal strobe light. I mean, the this just looks beautiful in the pan. Okay, that just looks pretty to me all by itself. So I'm hoping that it looks gorgeous on the skin. I really, really am. All right, let's give it a whirl. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. I mean, do you have this in your collection? A tone like this? Probably. I'm not going to pretend like you probably don't because you probably do, but oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. Mm. You better do it very lightly there because that's got some. Try to be very careful where I'm placing that. Alright. Other side. Oh yeah. Like I am in love with this highlighter, you all. That's really pretty. And I don't, other than the palettes, I don't ha have any strobe highlighters from them. But that is definitely beautiful. Okay, it. I think it is very, again, the first one was virgin, too dark on the skin, and this one I feel is verging a little bit too light, but I think in the wintertime this would be perfect, and like the, like maybe not now because I haven't been in the sun much, but prior to that I think the other palette would have been good for the highlighter, like when my skin was getting sun. So I do think that they can work just different seasons but I really like this jellyfish palette and I really wish I kind of would have put it in the owl palette but because I like the owl packaging better but 
when I look at the jellyfish, I mean, it does kind of take me back to my childhood and thinking about that, you know, so in a way I'm okay with it. But overall, I mean, it is $90. That is a lot of money. Okay. That is a lot. I would definitely highly, highly see, throw out there. If you were going to get one, get one that you know you're going to use. You know that's like, that's it or, you know, whatever. Like, because that's a lot of money for it to just sit in a door. And I, I know because I have so many of them sitting in a door, okay? So, which I am starting to clean them out. Because I've decided there is no reason for me to keep some of these. Like, this one here has got the finishing powder and soft light. The golden bronze light, mood flush, and champagne strobe. Like, I, I this one here, I may keep because I do like the, all of these, right? But at the same time, and I can use them all. And they are kind of getting a dip in them. But like this one here, the universe ones, I can let these go. I don't need these. There's the, I don't even understand the finishing powder. Like they put this big one in there and I'm like, why? Oh, but this one does have the luminous rose. I don't know. But, I mean, I've got so many. I mean, roll well, right there. I have the three from last year. These two. This one here. And, and there's more. There's more. There is. There is. I won't even lie to you. There is. So... But I, I would I would say get one and let it be your luxury, you know, face palette type thing when you want to be in that mood. Just my opinion. But you definitely don't need all three of them. And if you have any of the previous ones, you definitely don't need the palette number two, number one, number one, I think. Whatever one only has the one new shade, that is a crock. I can't even believe they did that, to be honest. But, for people that just purchase one a year, I guess I can see where those people would definitely go for that one. But, that is all I have for you today. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, please subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday. And, um, give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.